All right. Back to wizardry. I'm going to temporarily. Uh, okay, that was actually not where I wanted to hold tab. I wanted to hold tab over to. Yeah. That one. That's the one I want. There we go. Okay. Go. All right. Got that there. Got that there. Let's continue. All right. So. Um, you may notice, uh, since last time out, we are a good deal, we're, well, we're a couple levels stronger. Everybody is now at level 12 and 13, Mercury, Zelda, and MTI both at level 12, everyone else at level 13, and we may be about to do some last changing here, actually. Um, let's visit the training grounds. Let's hit some characters. Let's first take a look at lag.com. Okay, nope, you have not what I need for you. Uh, Chubo does have what I need to do what I want to do with Chubo, however. Um, this is going to be a little bit weird. You may wonder what the point of this is, and the point of this is to get Chubo some hit points. Ultimately, I want to have multiple characters uh, well-schooled in both the Arcane and the Divine schools of magic. Right now, I actually have quite a few with varying degrees of proficiency in Arcane. Um, my Divine is lacking. And this is not going to get me there right away, but uh, my ultimate plan is to have uh, Lag.com and Chubo both ultimately turn into, uh, I guess, pseudo-bishops, if you will, where they'll be schooled in uh, the, the full complement of both, uh, both magic spells, both magic schools, and then Mercury, Zelda, and MPI, I plan to... Hopefully, get fully powered up in uh, Priest, Divine, and sort of halfway or maybe a little bit more with uh, the Arcane, depending on how things work out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take Chuto, right? What would I like to change? He's level 13 right now. We're going to change Chuto's class. And what's interesting is it tells you what you're missing in some of these, uh, some of the stats. You can see Samurai and Lord require us not to be evil, so we can't do one of those. Uh, Mercury's all but MTI both neutral, so. That might actually be a problem. Can priests be neutral? I don't know. Okay, well. I'm not sure they can be, actually. This might, okay. Hmm. We need to rethink this plan. But anyway, um, all right, I could turn Chubo from a mage to a mage, I guess, but we're not changing him to a fighter. I wish to change Chubo's class from mage to fighter. Chubo will become a level one fighter. Yes, let's do that. Confirm. He's now an evil elf fighter. He keeps his stats. That's very interesting. That's not something that happened in the original game. When you changed, you went all the way back to the the stats of like your, your lineage minimum. But here you keep your stats, so that's cool. It's actually helpful. And you can see now he needs 1,000 experience to level up. And it keeps, keeps some of his magic capacity. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back. Go back. We're going to visit... Yeah, we're going to visit the store. We're going to get Chubo some gear. So, you need a shield, you need plate mail, you need a helm, you need a long sword. Okay. Okay, so like I said, the idea here is hopefully to eventually get Chubo some uh, good... Whoops, I didn't want to go all the way back, but that's fine. Chubo now a level 1 fighter. Will be safely tucked away in the back row for now. Fighter with some magic capacity. I do eventually want to change Chubo into a priest as well. That's something I need to keep in mind. Alright, let's inspect you. We need to re equip you. So, how is everyone this evening? I hope everyone is doing well. 
Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Gonna take the stairs to floor four. And then we're gonna go down to floor five and start exploring that. So let's see what else on it over here. And now that I am out of the darkness, I can cast. Uh, so I'm going to go down to floor four. So this elevator is interesting. It's not actually very useful in going anywhere from but floor one to floor four, or two and floor three, kind of, uh, I won't say red herrings per se, but they just don't go anywhere. Lost or blue ribbon, and we can go down to floor five, where we will continue exploring. Oh, uh, by the way, can you hear me okay? Can you hear the game okay? I just realized I think I had the game at like half volume or quarter volume, and I never turned it back up. Uh, let me fix that now. Address that. One moment. Should be good now. Oh, that's some way quite loud in my ears. Hopefully it wasn't as bad. <laughs> Everyone else. Okay, let's do some more exploring of floor five, shall we? No encounter there. Interesting. Alright. I haven't explored over here. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we have a big old empty room. Interesting. We have a door over here. Okay. If you're curious what the floor looked like uh, before I left it last, it looked like that. Uh, I'm now kind of by the uh, bottom right corner there. I'm actually inside of the room at 312, 3 north, 12 east. So. <laughs> With that. This is an even larger room. Okay. Another larger room, I guess, that doesn't appear to be anywhere. Interesting. Oh, hold on, there's a door over here. Also, it appears to be the other side of a one-way door over here. You can tell if I look there, you can now see kind of... It's like I can't really go that way. The door is there. Here. And what do we got? Let's find out. Encounter! Three small dragons. Uh, okay. I don't know how much I like that. Three dragon buttons. Um... I don't know how much I like this. Um, I don't know how much a spell is actually gonna work here, but let's try Dalto. Okay. Alright, I did kill one. 
and then I, okay. So luckily we were quick enough that it didn't really matter. Each free member receives 1,140 experience. Hey, look at that. Jubo can gain a level if we can make it back to town. Interesting how that works out. All right. It's here. Now by the bottom corner. Right, hidden door here. Surprise the monsters. Alright. That's fun. Whack. Easy fight. <laughs> we did it. Alright. 100 experience. Alright. Oh, we got a chest. Inspect that. 96% certainty of splinters. Alright. Disarm that. Disarm those splinters. Got a bunch of gold. Okay. Actually, fairly underwhelming. That's alright. I am okay with this. So how is everyone today? I hope everyone had a uh, good week. It's having a good uh, I don't know, Friday night. I'm enjoying mapping this out, so, you know. That's fine. Ooh. Oh, these are chunkier than I realized. Alright, we killed one. That's fine. Werewolf misses. Werewolf misses. Okay. Also, I like how the werewolves look nothing like they look more like rats in the little uh little overlay here. Isn't that funny? Anyway. Missed. And silver with the kill. Beautiful. Da -da. or swordsmen? Five swordsmen, okay. Um, how do I want to approach this? So it actually seems like a good time to start throwing Mahalitos. Very... Um... 
only, only two? Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Alright, that is something I'll need to keep in mind. There actually aren't a lot of uh, spells in some of these groups. Alright, they're not actually that strong, so... Cast Mahalito on Swordsman. Oh, can't cast Bone. Anti-Magic Zone. Okay. That's a little... Okay, that's a little more concerning. Did I actually surprise them? Well, anyway. Alright, so anti-magic, uh, a little frightening. Like chest. Alright, let's see what we got. 96% sort of exploding box. Okay, well, I'm confident here, right? Silver receives a shield. Interesting. Silver receives 50 gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Must admit, this has me a little nervous. <laughs> uh, I'll try going this way. It's, you know, I'm in an anti-magic field and all. And if I remember correctly, anti-magic is actually bugged in this, where it doesn't wear off until you... Basically, until you entirely leave the dungeon, so... door over here, okay. Explored this entire room. Very good. Encounter! Five ethereal enemies. So this sounds wonderful. Um.
Brave Mist. Oh, this sounds fun. Okay, so it looks like, fortunately, um, looks like magic works again. So that's good. Brave Mist misses. Okay, good. I think there are some there are some versions of this where anti magic is bugged. All right, let's inspect the chest. Here we go, exploding box again. Okay. Number thirty-eight. Okay. Otherwise, it looks like that. Okay. Into darkness. Cool. Break one. So there's just a chunk of like nothing to do there. All right, sure. It's gonna be yeah. Okay. All right. So I mean, I knew all that. Already. All right. Be a wall. Yep. Okay. And then this should put me back into light. No? Oh, no. Okay. Right. Priests. These actually look like bishops. Three bishops, yeah. Should be able to take them. I'm not worried. Whack. Whack. Okay. Bishop cast how detail, that's fine. Hit me for one. Fine, whatever. about something. Let me actually inspect Chubo for a moment. Vim is down to 91%. He is now 27 years old. Okay, that's fine. Also, I expect him to get one hit point per level up. Up to probably about level 7 or 8. Which hopefully the fact that he's a fighter now will start catching up. Okay, so we are here. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
Uh, I'll just go down this hallway, why not? One, two, that's why not. Four. Seven. Alright, let's see what's in this room. Not much of anything. Oof. This room. a hidden door. One way door going that way. Okay, sure. This is sort of this is sort of this is cool. But one just didn't take a turn at all for some reason. Mrs. Swordsman. Interesting hink. Right. Easy fight. Okay. Not experience for that. We'll take that. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So the reason that's a one-way door that way is that this is actually a one-way door. Going this way. I see. That makes more sense now. Encounter. Life boosts. Um. Hey, Montino. Let's see what happens. Oh, these are actually fairly beefy. Okay. We got three of them. Ow. I missed what a lot of that actually was. Let me see. All right. So Katina was ineffective. Okay. Okay. So it looks like when. So one thing to note is it looks like. It just doesn't get registered in the battle log at all if you, uh, if a enemy tries to cast Montino on some, on you. Or if an enemy tries to cast a spell, but you've been, mon been Montinoed. That's what I'm trying to say. Like that right there. That right there was a spell that I tried to cast and couldn't. Alright. Interesting thing here is this actually looks like a one way door. I need to for some sort of these splinters. Take that risk. I thought Com receives a shield.
Yep, that's a one-way door. Okay. Also, an encounter. Uh, are these those shade things again? I surprised the monster, so that's good. Whack. Ew. Easy fight. Yo, we got a treasure chest. Nice. 96% certainty. Huh? Okay. gold. Okay, so I want to. Yeah. Go this way now. Okay, why not? That's one way. It's possible, I guess. Hey Mario, huh? It's possible. Mario, please. Mario. Hey! Yeah, okay, this will lead to nothing. And then this will be... Mario, please stop. Why is there... Stop. Stop. Mario, God! Why was there a door there now? I'm there. I told you... confused about some of the doors here, but regardless. Um, alright. Uh, we are where we are now. Um, what's gonna be the easiest way to get to these last couple squares? I think it's gonna be this. Yep, kitty. Yes, indeed. Actually, cast Junopic. Sure. Didn't miss anything. No, I didn't miss anything. That, okay, there just was a door here that I somehow didn't pick up on. Okay. Yeah, so there's, alright, there's that there. Okay. So, what I'm trying to get to is, I'm trying to get to, okay. Alright, there's actually still a few more things we haven't explored yet. Okay, mostly revolving around over there. Okay, but for now, what I want to get to is the... So how are you, uh... Muscle? All right, so what I want to get to right now is kind of by uh, 12 east, 14 north. That's currently my target. So this, these enemies are not finished yet. That's why they're just kind of standing there, but they are actually attacking me. Like the, uh, the AI is there such that it is. There's no cool animations associated with them, so. I'm gonna go this way. East, east, east. going to be a one way door? No. Okay. You know it is going to be a one way door. This here. Okay. Oh! Nice hit. 
By the way, can you hear me okay? Can you hear the game okay? Everything well balanced, etc. These are all one way. Where I want to go is here. Oh, I missed that door the first time, but. Either way. You will never see the wizard, yeah. Not at this rate. Um, what are you trying to get to? Okay. Because wizardry runs in first person, yeah. So we got here. All right, one more door here. Sure. Encounter three demons. Okay. Hopefully they're just gargoyles and not actually full blown lesser demons. Yeah. Okay. We did not kill him. Okay, we did. All right. Good news is, we did. Uh, we did surprise them, so that's helpful. They, uh, they've got some. They've got some good group magic. They can put her in on me with. Okay. One thousand two hundred seventeen experience. That was nice. Wizards, I think. I know level one mages are. I don't know about level one wizards, but either way. An encounter six ethereal enemies that is a large quantity of ethereal enemies. Six grave mists, okay. Go. Okay, luckily they're not actually very durable. Go three of them. And that should take care of the rest. That's a one-way door. We already knew that. Counter four ways. Wolf and Mrs. Mercury Zelda. And that one already attacked, so that's helpful. Anyway, how are you today, Thousand One Games Live? Hope you're doing well. Here's all the kills were.
is all right. There's a few squares over there, but what's going to be the best way to get there? Um, the stairs to four six. So, okay, that wasn't quite what I meant to do, but sure. Did I hit the wrong button when I was exploring that before? Hmm. Alright, well, anyway. Still not worried. Nonetheless. <laughs> not worried about one enemy. It probably should be, but I'm not. Because, you know, this is wizardry. Huh? Sorry, Mario. <laughs> accidentally knocked the pencil off of, uh... Off of my desk. I'm gonna pseudo-attack Mario with it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to, I swear. Oh, yeah, so nothing of note there. When will the early access last? I don't know, honestly. I think they... Hi, Mario. Okay. Didn't take him long to get over his... Yeah, it didn't, didn't take him long to get unafraid. Um, I think I remember reading they said they want to have it, like, kind of officially released by, I think, like, early 2020. But, you know, plans can always change. Okay, uh, with that... Okay, with that, I believe we've now explored all of floor 5, so let's bail out back to town and get Chubo some levels. To, I could also just, uh, I could also just Malor out of here. That would be quicker. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. Counter. Or priests. Okay. Uh, those are actual priests, I believe. Or priestesses, yeah. Close enough. Priestess cast Mon Kino. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So Montino is the silence spell. Right, you can see all my characters have a little... <laughs> oh, their HS. Close!
I'm not HS, but you know. <laughs> Dude, I actually like this game. I'll just randomly pick that one. No trap sound. That's fine. Cool. Like.com receives a dagger. Alright, cool. <laughs> How's it going, shoot? How's it going, shoot? Nope. Back to floor one. Mm. I actually have um, on my YouTube channel, if you dig back into the uh, Wizardry 2 NES highlights, I actually have a highlight of that. That very thing happening to me. <laughs> That was fun. Fortunately, I don't know if it's because it was something the game did to me versus something I stupidly did to myself. If it was a bit of mercy added to like the NES port or a combination of the two. Uh, but luckily, all I did was dump my bodies back at the castle. I say all I did in quotation marks. So I was able to revive most of the party if I remember right. <laughs> Alright, so let's visit the inn. Uh, so Mercury's all that needs to restore MP, as does MTI, as does lag.com. Chubo is going to gain a bunch of levels because I just changed Chubo from a mage to a fighter. Probably also going to get a bunch of one HP level ups, but that's fine. One hit point. Okay, there we go. He learned the uh, he learned the level seven spells he was missing. That's nice. Oh, and Zolon. Excellent. All right, cool. Um, and again, one new hit point. Cool. And again. One hit point. Great. All right, your strength is now maxed out. Uh, I guess I'll divide this up. Again, one hit point. Okay. All right, finally. Uh, okay, cool. To lose a party to a trap chest with 100% efficiency. Yes. Yes, always, always a good time. Wizardry. Okay. So, we have... Uh, Uh, we have a bunch of stuff we can do identify, actually. So let me... I don't actually remember who got what. Let's see here. Let me inspect. Uh, Alright, cool. I can do it that way. So let's see. Okay, you got a shield. All right, it looks like a pretty basic shield. You have a shield and a dagger. Alright, so silver or lag.com need to stay in the Yeah, the, uh, the chest stuff is very interesting in this. And yeah, it, it's actually not a terrible idea to just ignore chests altogether on floor 10. Um, or maybe get a second opinion on the trap with, like, a Calpho spell. The tavern, we will remove. No freeze all that. We will temporarily add. We'll add our bishop, the scry, to the party. Oh, health check. Good idea. I'm gonna get a quick stretch here. Oh, crack, crack. Alright. Recommend you all do the same. Going to the maze. So from the icons, from the pictures, I don't think I got anything particularly special on this excursion, but I may be wrong. So let's take a look. Scroll. Got some alts. 
give this to the scry and give the dagger to the scry. Can you not try to identify these? All right, well, it's a dagger. Weird. Okay, that I'm pretty sure is a bug of some kind. I want to equip this, what happens? I have shields I just cannot identify for some reason. That's bizarre. to report that. That's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Item would Silver like to identify? No, not you. Yeah, these are just small shields that I, for some reason... that I, for some reason, could not identify. That was really weird. And I have 332,000 gold. <laughs> yeah. That's so bizarre. All right. Uh, no. those, but anyway. Add MTI back to the party. Or, no, excuse me, add Mercury Zelda back to the party. Alright. Of course, I need a new controller. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's fun. And by fun, I take it you mean you broke your controller. See what I did there? That was mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I need to... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Chupo is now a level 6 fighter, which doesn't actually help us in the back lines very much, but... <laughs> uh, no, Square Enix did not own this franchise. Uh, it was, it's actually some random company that I had not heard of until about a week ago that owns the franchise. Um. Nope. Nope, that's actually a big part of why uh, a lot of the games weren't available. For the longest time is because um, Wizardry 6 through 8 you could buy for a while, and then a few of the spin-offs later found their way onto Steam. But I think all of 1 through 5 were just lost to, like, for whatever reason, those games in particular just kind of fell into, like, rights limbo. Uh, and then, out of nowhere, like, Digital Eclipse, about uh, two weeks ago now, was like, Hey, HD remake of Wizardry 1. And I was like, what? That's awesome. Now, Exceed has done some translations, but they're not actually the ones who own the Wizardry trademark. It's, uh... I, uh, I can try to go look it up after the stream. Or I could sit here and watch the credits of this for 20 minutes, because I think at the very end of the stupid long credits. Um, it, tells, it does say who actually owns the rights to it. But. 
Uh, did I actually want to cast a light? Oh, it's too late, I did. <laughs> Yeah, so six through eight, yeah, six through eight might actually have different owners than wizardry, like the intellectual property as a whole, if that makes sense. Uh, that is a lot of enemies, actually. Um, Actually, not a terrible time to find out if Maka needs some of these enemies. Or I could go way overkill. Oh, I like tilt away. I like how it's untranslatable. Um, in previous, uh, in like some of the. In, uh, in some of the manuals I've read, like the NES ports, I believe Tiltoweight has variously been translated as Kablam! Or, uh, I think, like, Nuclear Explosion is another one that they've used. But I like how here it's just, like, sort of the forbidden spell that you can't even translate it at all. That's great. Uh, okay, so anyway, what I'm actually doing here, uh, we are testing out if Makanito works on these. Yeah, I think, like, yeah, nuclear something was, yeah. Coyote wants nothing to do with me. All right, so coyotes. Coyotes or something else I can kill with that spell. It's good to know. Okay. Nice, okay. We're gonna split our strap. Well done. Did all that for gold. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna play this probably a little excessively safe. I'm gonna bail out back to town. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe I remember that as well. Um, Yeah, as for surprise remake of Ultima 1, uh, we can dream. Um, unfortunately, that is not in Wright's Limbo. Uh, that is owned by Electronic Arts, and Richard Garriott has tried repeatedly to get the rights to Ultima back. Or, like, even just ask Electronic Arts to do something with them. And, like, they... He has been effectively stonewalled at every turn. If they haven't outright said no to him. So... Interestingly, Chubo, uh, not injured at all there. I... did I do that? I just... <laughs> but yes, I believe you're right. I believe I do remember reading it effectively as a nuclear explosion. Close to gaining a level. That's nice. I went back too far. Oops. Actually, if I just want to go to floor six, there's an easy thing I can do here. Perfect. Presumably. We'll see if this works. Uh, still on the Noah. Since, uh, so the way learning spells in this works is even if you change class out of a magic casting class, um, if you have started learning spells of a school and of a level, you will finish learning the spells of that school's level. Um, so I changed Chubo from a mage to a fighter, even though he had three mage spells still left to learn. 
uh, but because he had learned some of the spells of the tears that those spells were missing from, he when he leveled up as a fighter, you saw he learned those spells. Hi, Mario. So you can see Chubo is now a fighter who can cast level 7 mage spells. <laughs> Three of them. And... Mario, stay on there, please. One of them is, no, not Toltoe. Not gonna cast a nuclear explosion nowhere in particular, you goofball. Malor. Okay, now I do need to be careful here. Alright, so I want to go, let's see, go down four. Go, I believe, east nine, north nine. No. East nine, north eight. Okay. And this should take me to the stairs to floor six. But let me. Close enough. I actually wanted, I actually wanted East Eight, North Eight. Two samurai, two priests, one thief, one bishop. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I think like as I get late game, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of Matu and Ba Matu, as well as uh, Moralis and Mamoralis. Since, like, even late game, like, even direct damage spells are all but useless. Because, you know, the, the nastiest enemies just resist them anyway. So. Alright, here we go. 4-6. This is, uh, in a way, this is truly uncharted territory for me. Uh, because not that you ever really have a reason to map out floor 6 or 6 through 8 anyway, but uh, in the past I've really only ever played the NES ports and uh, the NES slash SNES port of Wizardry 1. And in that port, floor 6 through 8 are actually completely different. So... Mario, stay down there, please. Mario! Okay, so, first things first, we need to uh, get a map check here. All right, we are five east, eight north. Okay. Stop it. We have one moment to, uh, you know, kind of construct this map here. So. Um. Alright, so we are five east eight. Start going this way. But it was not okay. What's in here? Nothing. Doors. Okay. There appears to be a fire behind that door. That's a little frightening. I don't know if that's just a uh, graphical kind of effect 
or what, but either way. I did not go through the door I thought I did. I did not go through the door I thought I did. Okay, that's why. Where I went through was that one. Where I wanted was that one. Okay, yeah, I think it was just like a graphical glitch. Yeah, because you can see it there now, too. Okay. Encounter. Five priests, one mass woman. I surprised the monsters, that's good. Well, pretty sure the masked woman is a yeah, it's a ninja. Okay. One level six ninja and five priests. Did I Oh gee right <laughs> that is true. You are correct. Let's take advantage of Apple two rules here. Let's say you can cast spells on rounds where you surprise. Yeah, you surprise enemies. Um, I probably should try to do a little bit more with that level six ninja. But... This should hopefully kill most, if not all of the other bishops, priests rather. Yes. And I was gonna hope I get the first attack here. It was a little risky. Ninjas, as always, can insta kill. Uh, anti mage. Okay, well, fortunately, I don't actually have any mages, so we should be good. Macy receives a flail. So I don't want to do this. I guess I'll try going this way. Oh, hey, there's the elevator. Cool. All right. Yeah, I guess that makes sense that the elevator would be in approximately the same place. All right. Want Mario? I'm not sure if you can hear him through the... Uh... Thank you. 
An encounter. One strange animal. Uh, that I believe is a gorgon. No, it's a uh, one gaze hound. Uh, not really any better. <laughs> being honest. Um. I wonder if Machnito works on this. Find out. Okay. So, alright. The good news is they are not actually very durable. Number five experience. That chest. Mario, stay down there, please. Alright, thank you. Make sure she's a sword. Right. Give a sword and an armor. Interesting. Suits in here. This could prove problematic. Let's try it anyway. Interesting. Suddenly, you see a group of three humanoids. One is a barbarian with a sword that glows. One is a sexy female mage. And the third looks like a huge ogre. The barbarian points to the end of the corridor and yells, Ariel, Ukla, this way! And they all run off. Something just happened where I got teleported or otherwise moved. Nineteen north. Okay, so I got kind of shoved a square forward. Looks like. Okay. So I didn't do that on my own. So.
Actually, go back into this hallway here. Let's keep going. Four more squares, I shouldn't be back up where I was. Yeah, okay. okay, that was neat. So yeah, that's uh, apparently that uh, what we saw there earlier was like a... Uh, my understanding is that's actually kind of an Easter egg. Um, that relates to uh, one of the creators, I think it's Andrew Greenberg's, like, Dungeons and Dragons party. Is, uh, and apparently that Easter egg was never actually before, never before seen until very recently because either it was like a one-time thing and like the, uh, you know, the versions, or I won't say, I can't say for certain it had never been seen, but it was kind of lost until very recently because I guess uh, either it was programmed wrong initially or the, or like just the discs, it was a one-time thing and like the, uh, the completely legal copies of Wizardry 1 you would see, you know, around the internet, they, uh, you know, obviously they would probably have that one already redone, if you will, re-encountered so nobody ever saw it. Until now, so that's cool. All right, um, one, two, okay, weird. All right, maybe I did just. All right, anyway. Let's go back in here, explore this some more. Fail out of that. Oh, and then we're gonna do an encounter. All right. Uh, these are not the same canines as we fought before, I don't think. But wherever these are, they are hard to hit. Canine misses on PI. Okay. Ow. This is where a where a Matu spell would be good. Let's see. Probably more or less. All right. Killer Wolf. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lucas Morris. All right. Yes. 
enchantments. Okay. Alright. Got one, got two, got three. Nice. Alright. This is going to be totally not a pit. I feel it. That's not a pit. This, oh, that's actually the stairs to floor seven. Okay. This presumably is going to be fair. You look the characters who are most injured here, if nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Hit. Silver took 17 damage. Okay. Encounter. One insect. Alright, what do we got? Huge spider. Alright. Well, huge spider or variant thereof. Uh, big chonker spider, whatever it is. Alright. Guess we'll never know what it was. Giant spider. Okay, yeah. Not to be confused with a huge spider. Two different things. Different enemies. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's of that. Okay. We're back over here. Okay. Consistent with what I think it is. It's in here. Okay. 
What, Mario? Okay, a lot of nothing in there. Hey, yeah, Mario, huh? Yeah, not much of note there. Uh, nope. It's in here! Two tigers, oh boy. Roar. Okay, two were tigers, you say. They recover health. That's great. Okay. Um. Oh, they are tough to hit, too. Okay. Alright, that was not the one you should have attacked, but. Out! Where tiger misses silver, that's fine. One. And we got the second one. Cool. Dude. Samurai, okay. Who champ samurais? Oh, this sounds like it. Uh, this sounds like a place where a Montino spell would be good. Um, especially if we are going to- wow. Especially if they are going to be- Montino was ineffective. Oh, that's not- okay. Jeez, okay. Kill one, please? Thank you. Experience. You want gold? There's a lot of gold. That's nice. I yeah, know, there's just nothing here. Alright. Cool. Fair enough. Alright, um, I do. now. Encounter, four priests. Four level five priests. Hey, you know what's... You know what that means. Uh, level five is less than level eight, so this should work, providing we get it off in time. Yeah, cool. Receives a mace. Jubo can gain a level. That's also nice. Do, do, do. 
Okay, so... Ah, please. Uh, do I want to... Let's see, yeah, I think I know what I want to do here. Go this way. Try this one now. Mario. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you gonna help me explore the dungeon? Is that what you're doing? No, nope, you are not helping. No. Nope. Well, he helped me find a wall that I'm not sure I even knew was there. Encounter, five masked women. Oh, that does not sound good. Uh, those are ninjas. Five level six ninjas. Uh, no, we are not dealing with this. Uh, we are throwing every attack spell we have at this. Oh, no, not run. Carry spell Machinito, because I know that works. Okay. We're okay. Ugh. Four, oh boy. One demon, three masked women. Oh, this doesn't sound great. That is a lesser demon. That's, okay, that's a little frightening. Dilto the demon. Dilto the demon. Uh. Kamatu. Uh, okay, I need to remember. We have two left. I'll have one left after this. Three times for 26 damage, and the demon, like, shrugs it off like it's nothing. Yeah. To go cast tilt -o wait. Wham. Okay. Yep. And... Lesser de- yep, I knew that was a lesser demon. What did it actually do to me? We cast Mahalito. Okay. We should be good from here. And after this, I am going to, uh, bail out. Yeah, okay, there we go. Cool. Gold. 
105 gold. Wow. A lot. Okay, so that is 1610. Okay. We're going to bail out of here. To Malor. Alright, so we are six down. So I want to go up. I don't like how it says up negative five. I know I'm right when I do this, but I don't like how it says that. Alright, so now I want to go. Let's see, I am at 1610. Okay. East, west. West 16. South 10. And this should put me at the stairs to the castle. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I always I'm always a little nervous, uh always a little nervous casting casting Malor. Because if you screw it up and you teleport into rock and you haven't backed up your character file, which I have not, uh that is yeah, uh that is I hope I didn't need the 28 hours I've spent playing this game in total so far. Because, yeah. So, so. Uh, Alright, I flubbed that. That's fine. Oh, points exhausted. Oh, okay. Okay. So thank you for pulling up my Windows notifications, Mario. Appreciate that. All right, Chubo, we're going to gain a level. Probably one hit point again. One hit point, yes, but we got a more piety, so that's nice. He's going to be gaining one hit point for a while, probably for another level or two. And then, hopefully, because I turned him into a fighter, that'll... Um, so what do we think? Do we take one more dive down? What do you think, Mario? Okay. Mario's hopping up on my computer. I think means no one in my roster currently requires assistance. Well, that's good. I think he wants me to take one more quick dive down. to get Mercury's all on MTI up to at least level 17. So it should get them, because they're a samurai, that should get them their level 5 mage spells. Um, which will let them get Makinito and Mamorless. And Mamorless is going to be useful in the late game. So... Ribbon. So I have a gold key that I don't think I ever actually used anywhere. I just want to point that out. Alright.
Okay, so I'm here. Let's go in this door. Encounter. One leather-clad man. Still a leather-clad man. Alright, well, I'm just gonna fight it and see what happens. Oh, whatever it was, it was whatever it was, it's dead. Looks like a high-level thief of some kind, maybe. Level four thieves, okay. Cool. Oh, here's something cool for me. Oh, speaking of things that are cool, I have stuff I need to. Let me see if failed to disarm the trap. Okay, so that means he has the trap right. Doesn't matter if really succeed in disarming it or not. I have like loot I need to do something with. To do something with that before I end for the evening. Alright, that's not where I expected that to go. One, two, three. Let's go down the hall. One, two. Oh, this is a spinner. Okay. I'm sure that's what's going on here. Yeah, okay. This is a spinner dial. Alright. I think I am, I might not actually be there, in other words. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, I'm back the way I came. Alright. Encounter. Three masked women, two other clad men. Okay. Uh, two master thieves. Interesting. Despite that, I'm pretty sure the level six ninjas are the more dangerous opponents here, so we're gonna mock them, you know. Okay. Oh, master thief. This I can believe. Is this going to be a pit? No. Okay. A oh, nice video game. Okay. 
just not move anything, which is fine. I'm okay with that. That's all right. So that's east. This would be north. One, two, three. Okay. Should be yep. Okay. I can't go off the mini-map right now, because I got spun around. So this is why I draw my own maps. Or one reason why, I guess. See, it's exclusively why, necessarily, but... Six ethereal enemies, okay. Uh, it's these shade dudes, okay. Oh, wait, these are different shade dudes, aren't they? Six spirits, okay. Oh, and they surprised me. Great. Spirit cast Dilto, you say? Okay. Spirit cast Molito, how? Okay. Spirit cast Mahalito, oh, alright. Molito. Alright. And Spirit Cast Mahalito. Alright, wonderful. You're not in great shape here, folks. I don't actually know if these are resistant to spells. I don't think so. I hope not, anyway. Spirit is unaffected. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I did hit a couple of them. Alright, we killed two. Mercury is poisoned. Okay. Alright, five down. Spirit, go in one more time with the Mahalito. Taking that as uh, as the sign that it's time to bail. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just make sure we are where we think we are, which is twelve six, twelve east, six north. Okay. V6 north. Yep, okay, so I want to go 12 west, 6 south. And up. Uh, yeah. So there's what our dramatic looks like right now. There's a spinner in. Uh, at uh, 13 east, 4 north is a spinner. It's fun, good times.
up five, well the last six south. Okay, we made it. Alright, I can actually make it do that quite like that, but that's okay. Alright, so we are going to uh going to identify our cool gear, hopefully. And then we are going to call it an evening because, yeah, that was a. Uh... That's uh that spirit battle. Uh, that's gonna be a yikes for me, dog. Ugh. Uh, let's go to the maze one more time so we can heal up the iron shoe though. Silver. I got com, please. Thank you. Okay. I need to go inspect our characters. Alright, you have nothing. Nothing. We flail on a sword. That looks like an awful yeet up sword. Alright. A mace of some kind. A shield. And some armor. Alright, so I have a lot of people with a lot of stuff. Uh, MPI and Mercury Zelda are the only ones who don't have anything. Okay, so we right, can go back. So in other words, tells me I can remove MPI from the party. Back. Add. Scry. I mean, at this point, honestly, I have enough gold I could just have full tack identify everything. To the scry. That looks just like leather armor. Oops. No, uh, yes. Shield. That looks just like a large shield. This mace looks sort of interesting. Mace of ashing, maybe. The scry. You got some things to identify here. Identify. Plate mail. Okay. Uh, not bad. Not super useful in itself. That's just a large shield. Okay, that's fine. Mace minus one. Okay. That's that sounds not great. Short sword minus one. Again. <laughs> and identify an anointed flail. Okay. So all right. Not really a whole lot of note there. I guess, can you equip the anointed flail? No, okay. I believe lag.com already has an anointed flail. Yeah, okay. We can sell basically everything there. Uh, press plate plus one and plate mail are the same. Same in terms of, uh... They do, so... Uh, actually, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it... I want to sell everything. I 
Ist doch gut. Ne? Ah, ich schreie. Good man. Good that to Mercury Resolve. Our shield to get that to Mercury Resolve. We'll sell the other things. Zelda. And from there we will add, okay, not you, yes, you, I think. Yep. Oh, you actually have blade mail. Wow, okay. And then is the other one, is the other fighter from the group the one that's... Yeah, okay. Um, so what do you Alright, so yes, we'll do this. We'll add Hawkwind to the group. I'm going to the maze with just these two. That's a Hawkwind. Uh, you already have plate mail, right? So you don't need more plate mail, right? Uh, I don't know why you're not equipping that, but no. all right, cool. Cool. So I just geared up my kind of backup dude for free. Nice. Okay, so uh, that battle with the spirits was a little tense at the end, but. Um, I will now, let's see, here's the store. Oh, I don't sell you a plate mail. Okay. Oh, yeah, really? Alright, so let's remove Hawkway and let's reconstitute the party and then we'll call it an evening. Chubo, not even close to that order. It's fine. Go back into the maze just to properly reorder everyone. Yeah. Alright, and then after that we will be done for the evening. Uh, so, okay. Change position. You go here. Good. You. Go here. Good. Uh, I think the only other one left to change is you go. Alright, cool. Back up. Alright, with that, we have reached the end of today's session. Uh, it was good, that was fun. Uh, that last battle was tense with the spirits, uh, surprising me and casting a bunch of nasty spells. Didn't realize they could do that. I know that now, though. Mario, please stop. All right, in any event, we have reached, we have come to the end of stream number 52, I believe it is. There it is. If you like to save the stream, hope so. 
All right, so thank you all for watching. Let's find you all a raid target on this lovely Friday night. Oh, Mario, who should we raid? Yeah, what are you doing? Get down off of Momo's desk, please. One moment, everyone. Mario got the message. All right. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mario. Down from there. Okay, well, let's see. Where can I send y'all to today? Um, let's see. A lot of people online tonight. But, for where I'm going to send you, okay. Bam. No. All right. Um, do 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 do. Send you to someone I actually haven't sent you to yet, I don't think. They're playing Sweet Home. What? Why did that not copy? God. There we go. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone.